Okay, today is day 13. I was hoping I can show you my uh, truck camper in 3D mode, but um, this free CAD uh, PC version um, has a very steep uh, learning curve and I just uh, couldn't get it to work. So, But um, the good news is it's uh, day 13 and uh, I have come up with the... Uh, a little bit uh, better pricing or more accurate uh, pricing for my DIY work. Um, no welding, but it's aluminum frame. Um, I use 1.5 inches by 1.5 inches square extrusion, aluminum extrusion. As you can see, total price came out to be $2,000. And if I um, use... Um, those uh, small frames, it's going to be $3,000, so it's not cheap. And if I use the, uh, and I calculated if I use the aluminum composite panel for the 3 millimeter, uh, 4 by 4 by 8 feet, I need 6 of them, and each one is $120, so total comes out to be as, around $720. I'm just going to round it to $1,000, so um, that is... It's going to be four thousand dollars for this uh, aluminum um, slide in truck camper. Um, four thousand dollars, so um, it's probably uh, worse to buy a used one. But uh, the used one is hard to come by on the east coast. The uh, used one is also they don't have the bathroom I'm looking for, a shower. So I'm going to build one, and a lot of people build it uh, using um, <clears throat> plywood. Uh, if I want to build it using plywood and uh, you know two by two frames, uh, the cost is probably going to be five hundred dollars. So it's uh, relatively inexpensive, you know, from four thousand uh, dollars cost down to um, only five hundred dollars using uh, two by two um, or two by three and uh, eleven over thirty two inches uh, plywood. You can see the detail pricing and the weight. The weight is gonna come in around uh, <clears throat> uh, three hundred dollars, three hundred pounds um, <clears throat> for this built, and uh, uh, even with the aluminum uh, frame support, it's gonna come out to be uh, four hundred, three hundred eighty nine pounds. So it's pretty decent. Uh, it's pretty decent built, and I can build in a, a shower inside uh, the uh, truck camper to feed my needs. And there's a pretty good sized bed over the cabin. It's uh, 50 inches by 80 inches. Uh, easily, two people can easily fit in it. Okay, there you have it.